Hello and welcome to you in the Embedded System Programming course. This is Alachmi Kantiwari. In today's lesson, we will learn about the factorial programming in assembly and also we will test this factorial program on our Freedom KL 25Z board. If you are a beginner, please refer to my previous lectures. So I have written this factorial code in the KL Microvision version 4. If you don't know how to create assembly programs, please refer to my previous lectures. I have already taught them how to create an assembly program in the KL Microvision. So I have created and I have added these startup files and the source files. Okay. Please verify these settings here in the debug menu. Use this and this CMC's, DR, CMC's dev debugger should be selected here. And in the debug, in the utility, you can use either use debug driver or you cannot select, then you have to select here. Okay. Verify also these settings SW and the 1 megahertz. And also in the utility, verify these settings debug SW and the 1 megahertz, otherwise, it will produce an error. Okay, so connect your freedom board with your PC. Okay, so start with the debug mode. Let's now enter in the debug mode, evaluation mode. Now it has been loaded. So please verify also here. This should be the same name as in your main program. So here I have written this main. So you have to also write in the startup code as a main as the same name otherwise it will produce an error so okay let's execute it line by the line okay step one and then it will go in the main okay so but here is a problem the problem is that i didn't initialize the system initialization so please go back and uncomment this file otherwise it won't work on your FRDM board and then rebuild it again and then enter in the debug debug mode okay the assembly window make here put it here and then put a breakpoint here and make a run okay now your number will be loaded from the literal pool i have saved here a literal pool as a 5 now means we are going to calculate the factorial of the 5 in the assembly programming the next line has been loaded r0 as a 5 here you can see now r4 is the one as a base number means the r4 as a base number then it will save the results in the r4 okay so and the r0 is uh, loaded with the one for the comparison purpose of the number okay so if your number is equal to the one so that it will go for the finish okay now click on the next here we are doing n is equal to the n0 minus 1 here we are doing factorial n is equal to the n into n minus 1 factorial so you can see here the r4 is equal to the r4 into r0 now i am decreasing this r0 which is i have loaded this number is in the r0 so the r0 number is decreasing by 1 the 1 by 1 1 1 it is decreasing in a loop and multiplying with the r4 so that here you can see the n factorial is equal to the n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 has been implemented now we can go in the loop simulation here 1 by 1 now r4 updated to the 14 in the hex value now here yeah it has been calculated so the r4 has been loaded with the 78 so 
as you know the factorial 5 in the hex value it will produce uh, 78 and in the decimal value I think it will produce a 120 so your uh, debug has been completed here in the freedom board I have uh, given the link for this program you can uh, download these programs and you can test on your board here I am uh, going to stop this tutorial thank you so much watching my video and if you want to more video please subscribe my channel and if you have any doubt please comment below thank you so much for watching this tutorial